So what your beer tarp is going to arrive in is the overhead setup. And what this is gonna allow you to do is place this over the back of the head and this second strap can go around the back of your neck. Now the good thing about this setup is you can adjust it to have more slack on the top if you have a little bit of a bigger head or vice versa, if you have a little bit of a bigger beard, you can give yourself a little bit more slack down here. Now on the back of your Beard Tarp V2 packaging, you're gonna see the three different setups. These setups are also gonna be on your instruction manual. And it's also labeled on your instruction manual using letters, so A, B, and C. And what each letter is going to signify is the corresponding toggle pieces. Now, the setup that we have here is labeled as setup A on your instruction card. This is gonna come with your small pig nose stoppers, and these are default for when it arrives. If you do wanna switch out your pig nose stoppers, you can just take those right off, put those somewhere safe so you can use them in the future. So what we're gonna do next is the over the ear setup, and that's gonna be the second setup you're gonna see on your instruction card. You're gonna need the two cylinder pieces. So these are cylinder toggles, and you're just going to take the straps, the draw cord straps. You've got one for the left side and one for the right side and you're just going to attach your toggle piece. You're just gonna press it in and you're gonna slide through one of the straps and then you're going to slide through the other strap. So that's the one side. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And now your Beer Tarp V2 is equipped to tighten around the ears. What you can do with the extra two pieces that you took off is you can actually use them to set up any of the slack that's left after hanging over your ears. So what I'm gonna show you at the end of this video is also how you can do some tips and tricks if you didn't want any of this slack at the end. But one of the nifty things you can do is you can take your pig nose stopper, you can insert one of your draw cords along the side. do the same for the bottom and there you go that is going to be the second setup that you see on the back of your instruction card now the other great thing about this setup is the over the ear setup can also be used with the one big pig nose stopper and that difference is just going to be that you're just going to have one toggle instead of of the overhead setup. So speaking of that setup, we're gonna show you how to do that one from the start. We're gonna take off all remaining toggles. And same thing we did with the smaller pig nose stopper is we're gonna take these two straps that are on the right side. We're gonna put them through the right side hole. We're gonna do the exact same thing with the left side. 
And now your adjustability is gonna be controlled just with the one toggle. Now you can see here, we're gonna have the straps running over the top of the ears, as well as along the bottom. And it's just all gonna be controlled with your one toggle. Now the great thing about this elastic band is you can tighten it up and leave it there and pull it down comfortably throughout the day. And when you're ready to pull it back up, it's gonna be right at that same spot that's comfortable for you. Now these are some of the most popular toggle scenarios that you can do on your own, but we are always open to hear what you're doing to customize your beer tarp V2. Now on the over the ear setup, one of the things that you can do just so you don't have this excess amount of cord, if you're not wanting to bring it back and put it into one of the other pig nose stoppers, you can take this, tie up where you think you'd like the knot to be, right behind your cord stopper. And then you can just take your scissors and cut off however long of length you'd like to have. This will just be your length that you can uh, pull your stopper down if you need to. So I usually like to cut it at about two inches down. Take your lighter, and just so that the ends don't fray, just take your lighter and burn the ends, and you're all set. I want to thank you very much for watching today and learning about how you can customize your Beer Tarp V2. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us on our website through our chat function, or you can call us or email us at hello at alwaysbearded.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.